morning, 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 morning. Okay, I look a little short now, but um, I'm gonna make my snack now because it's about that time, I think. Yeah, it is about that time, so we're gonna go ahead and make the snack. Simple, easy. Um, but y'all, I just want to say <sighs> yellow. Yo, motherfucking low. Because when you die, you dead. It is no, you just dead. So you bitches better live that shit up. Live this motherfucking shit up. Keep God first. Keep God first and respect him. Respect him as much as you can. Respect God as much as you can. Respect your family's wishes as much as you can. If you know like that, there's something that you love that they don't like, or something that that that's just you and it completes you and they don't like it you just gotta respectfully tell them this is me that's it point blank period but yellow because oh, yellow you only live once bro you only live once man y'all better live that shit up i'm telling you because the second you die you're gonna be like damn i should have just did it i should have just did this i should have just yeah so if you want to do it just do it go after it Everybody fails. And so many successful people, they will tell you numerous times, you will fail a hundred times before you succeed. You're going to fail. Everybody fails. And when you when you go to school, you fail. And you do your schoolwork, you fail, you fail, you fail. And then when you take the test, because you didn't fail so many times with the homework, then you take the test and you pass the test. Why? Because you failed so many times. So you learn from the homework. And then when the test came, you pass the test. So YOLO, y'all, I'm telling y'all, YOLO, you're going to fail. Nothing in life is going to be perfect. If life was supposed to be perfect, we wouldn't have evil. We wouldn't have a lot of things. If life was supposed to be perfect, we probably would, wouldn't even be as far as advanced as we would. We probably still would be living in jungles, swinging from trees and shit. So, I don't know. Let me not say it like that, but y'all know what I mean. The, the Garden of Eve, it probably would still be like that more than likely. So, YOLO, y'all. I'm telling y'all, YOLO, just live it up, man. Just live it up. You want to go to college? Go to college. If you don't like the degree you're studying in, switch your major. If you don't want to be in college because you realize you're not a college student, don't go to college. Go be an entrepreneur. Go do an online class for six weeks that teaches you how to start your own business and further your education on that. Go open your own businesses. Go make music. Go do makeup without having... Go to cosmetology school. Y'all, if you are interested in beauty, stay in cosmetology school, bro. Don't let nobody discourage you. Okay, that license, it means everything. Your degree means everything. I know, I, and I've even said it, a degree don't mean you know it. And it's true, but if it's your passion, then you know it. But there's people who get degrees because their family makes them go be a doctor. Their family makes them go do stuff. But half the time, if it's somebody's passion, they know what they do it. So go do it. Just do it, y'all. Just do it. I'm telling y'all, just do that shit. Like, don't let nobody tell you that it's not worth it. Because it is. Every second of it is worth it. If you want to be a rapper, be a rapper. You're not going to succeed overnight. You're not going to blow up overnight. A lot of rappers tell you it took them a year. It took them six months to blow up. Unless you just got to get it. Like, you got the juice at rapping. And you're going to blow up then. But I'm telling y'all, just do it. YOLO, for real. If you want to go fucking drive across America for the next three years because you just got out of high school and you got money and maybe you graduated with an associate's degree who knows what the hell happened what you did or maybe you don't want to go to college you want to travel and you make good enough money to do so do it do it just do it because i'm telling y'all when you die you're gonna regret not being able to do a lot of things you're gonna be like bro you know how much fun it would have been if i had just did this instead of worrying about what everybody thinks like think about it when you dead you're dead like yeah like you might get to watch from heaven you know and see what's going on but it's not gonna be like like you might get to see your kids or if you even have kids you might get to see other people you love doing things but it's not as fun as you being able to do it so just do it bro don't worry about nothing else nothing else matters in life nothing else matters in life it's about being happy bro i'm telling you it's and being happy being happy damn I know you're probably like, you preach too much, you talk too much, and I, 
but that's just because a nigga beat depression like six seven eight nine like 12 months ago down there so for me to come out of that and then t i'm telling y'all just live like if you're sad i get it depressed i get it bro anxiety i get it you're overthinker i get it all of that stuff be okay with it first make peace with it then find a way to heal maybe you healing is you moving maybe you healing is you going and going to school maybe you healing is you going and educating yourself whatever it is that like something is telling you to do it just do it because if you're depressed right now and then something your intuition is telling you hey go move to california and open up this taco shop for me go do it because clearly your spirit is telling you that for a reason clearly you're being told it for a reason so go do it go do it at the end of the day i had a friend in cosmetology school i don't go there no more so i haven't heard from her but me and her we used to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk about a lot of spiritual stuff and i learned a lot from her she learned a lot from me she taught me like she taught me how to be okay with things that i could not change like at the end of the day, she used to tell me, like, you can't you can't control it. You got to be okay with it. So I started putting that into practice, and I started becoming at peace. I started learning how to become happier. I started learning how to be okay with what I, with what I could not change. So I'm telling y'all, go to school. Go do things. Because at the end of the day, you might not get that degree in there. You might not stay there and finish. You, you might get a job and not stay there and finish. But you're going to learn something from somebody. No matter where you go in life, one thing that you gotta know is you know nothing. I know nothing. I love I love when people tell me I have a lot of wisdom, but I know nothing because I, I don't know everything. There's still a lot of things I don't know. I know nothing at all. Nothing. So I'm telling y'all, like I'm telling you, that was a she was a W friend, bro. She taught me me and her, I taught her some stuff, she taught me some stuff. And the biggest thing that I took from from listening to her talk to me was to be okay with things that you could not control so at the end of the day i'm still thankful for the people that i met when i was in cosmetology school and maybe i'll go back i don't know but i'm telling y'all yolo bro yolo you only live once you only live once do everything there is no limits or capabilities on what you can do i haven't seen a motherfucker go from being a doctor to being a dancer, to being a, a cosmetologist, you will see people, like, literally, you will see people go from different things, and that is okay, I'm, I said this at the beginning of my video, I'm gonna say it again, it is okay to be a jack of many trades, be a jack of many trades, don't have one special, unique thing about you, have 600 special, unique things about you, if you know how to do here, and build fucking houses, bitch, build your own salon, and keep building houses, and do here, what's going to stop you, your mind, don't let your mind tell you that you can't, because you can, because you can, God did not design us, God did not design us to be basic, God designed us to be extraordinary he, he designed us to go above and beyond things you gotta defeat your mind stop letting your mind tell you that you can't do it if you want to get in the gym get in the gym stop letting your mind tell you that i'm too fat i can't do it i bitch i was 155 motherfucking pounds i'm down to 125 i think so you can do it you can do it you might not be at the results you want you might not get results right away it took me three four three to four years to finally get down to this weight and i'm still dropping off fat off my body you just have to be okay with the process it's a process behind everything that you do in life it's a process behind going to school it's a process behind losing weight it's a process behind starting a business it's a process behind being a social media influencer it's a process behind everything that you do nothing if you was a drug dealer it's a process behind being a drug dealer you gotta go get the weed you gotta go get your bricks then you gotta make the flips and then you got to go back and give money to the person that you bought the weed from and then buy weed from them again it's a process everything has a process they're like don't say too much on me saying that. I'm, I'm just saying like i'm just bringing up examples so don't say too much on that part but for real like it's a process behind everything that you will do nothing comes perfect like and th there was videos i keep seeing and people are talking about oh um i in the, in the gym i see somebody and they have more muscle people every 
everybody's genetics is different. Some people come from muscular families. Some people come from bigger families. Some people come from skinny families. That Or sometimes your genetics might be set up to where you can build muscle quicker than other people because your body takes on protein better. Your body takes in calories better. So you burn them quicker. Your metabolism's higher. You're pushing. You're going. That is okay. I'm telling you, it's a process behind everything. Don't look at nobody else's blessings and look at nobody else's race and be like damn like i'm behind them okay be behind them but are you ahead of your old version of yourself are you ahead of who you was in the past because that's all that matters if you count what other people doing you're looking at what other people doing you're gonna keep fucking failing i know that i know that much and i and i don't know it because i did it but i know it because i paid attention to other people that did it i i never I'm telling y'all, the only reason why I have peace on me is because I never looked at somebody else and hated on them. Maybe maybe in middle school, and I was younger, I did not know better. So I did learn a little bit. But I started, I fell back from that trait, and I watched how other people was moving. And them being a hater kept causing them to be broke, kept causing them to do this, kept causing them to do that. Even a lot of um, famous people, like, like if you look at a famous person, you see this motherfucker beef with every single person in the industry but can't get one golden record, one golden hit. What? Why do you think that? Because you're being a hater. I'm telling y'all, you don't gain nothing from that shit. Nothing. It, I'm not saying peaceful peacefulness is the answer to everything but i'm telling y'all it is so much life is so much better when you focus on your own race and you fall in love with the process i know it took me a lot to say all of that stuff but i'm saying all of this by just saying if you have a mental problem going on you're depressed you're sad maybe you got anger issues something so slight that you don't talk about to other people and you don't know how to overcome it find how to fall in love with yourself Okay, self-love isn't just buying yourself materialistic things. Sometimes self-love could be as easy as you setting up boundaries and telling people, nah, I'm not hanging out with y'all tonight. Y'all don't ever pay attention to how I'm feeling. Then y'all want to push me to come out with y'all and party. And I'm not in the mood to party. But when y'all need something from me, y'all check on me. But rather than that, nobody comes and talks to me until y'all need something. Okay, so set boundaries. That's okay. That's self-love. Okay, set boundaries. Go find things that you like. Find hobbies, interests, um, maybe something that makes you money, a side business. Go get an extra job if you want more income. Go find love in yourself without using materialistic things. Yes, shopping sprees are nice, baby. I love to shop. But the biggest the biggest thing I learned from my self-love journey was it wasn't materialistic things that was going to heal whatever was broken inside of you. That's not self-love. And that's how I held my heart because I learned to set boundaries. I learned to wake up and tell myself that it will be okay. I learned to be careful, be comfortable in what I do. You should, like when I record in public, I still be nervous, but I became comfortable with it because at the end of the day, like people are gonna be like, "Oh, you're a YouTuber." Somebody eventually gonna say something. "Oh, you're a YouTuber. Can I re- can I subscribe to your channel? You wanna subscribe to my channel?" Blah blah blah. Boom. Like you feel me? I don't know. Sorry, y'all. I, I go on and on about it, but I'm 18, and I got people who view me from ages 14 to 20, 25, 14 to 30. There's a lot of people that view me from Snapchat all the way to Twitter to TikTok, all of that stuff. So it's like, when I talk, I'm not just talking to my age group. I'm talking to people younger than me. I'm talking to people that are older than me, because there's a lot of people that are in their 30s and 40s that still don't know how to properly love they so there's people who are older than me that still don't know how to fall in love with the process of becoming successful because when you are successful it does not come easily success is not handed to people unless you and i said this earlier unless your family was rich and rich and it was passed down from generation to generation and that's the goal that's the goal for everybody is to get rich so they can pass it down from generation to generation to their kids but it's not gonna come easy and the people who do got it like that that's good but it starts with the first person it it starts when somebody opens their eyes and realize me hated on my family member because this motherfucking travel to new mexico while her kids is at home hungry as fuck that's not your business let that lady do that start with your family 
start with your family. Take your kids to New Mexico with you. Teach your kids how to sell and trade things while y'all travel. Because you can sell and trade while you travel. It ain't never no rule that don't tell you not to sell, sell things and trade with people and speak about your business. Because you can use your phone as much as you want. But them social interactions, interacting with humans, interacting with people that's not through a, a device all the time that's good for you that's gonna help you prosper i'm giving y'all free game right now for real like for me to be young and giving y'all free game it's it's like that because not not speaking highly of myself but i'm really like that like i'll, I'll help people come up because i know how to come up i'm just 18 there's not a lot that i can do but i i'm just now being able to cross into that section where i can start building generational wealth and stuff so i got i got free game that i don't mind giving out because What's the point of me becoming wealthy and watching the black community struggle, watching Native Americans struggle still? What's the point? Because that's not my that's not my flow. No, I'm going to bring everybody up. Even if y'all don't fuck with me, even if you don't like me, even if you watch my page so you can keep hating on me, even if you only follow me because you want a reason to talk shit about me when I do something wrong. I'm going to still give you free game because I know you listen and I know you're watching. So if you're listening and watching, this is your free game. This is how you come up. Don't be a hater. Find self-love. Fall in love with the process of becoming successful. Fall in love with the process of doing things that you do. Don't give up so easily. And if you know that what you're doing right now is not the time, it is okay to turn around, leave that, and come back to it. Because sometimes you have to go do something else in order to finish something else. Okay? So fall in love with the process, free game for real. And I'm not fronting because other people probably already know this, but I'm just saying a lot of people are uneducated. It's not just about becoming rich. It's not always just about money, generational wealth. That means you can pass down a real estate building to your kids. And if your kids decide to keep it, they can make that real estate building that they got a $200 million home and then pass it down to their kids. And then their kids can do the same thing or sell it. And then boom, you got a two hundred, you got a $100 millionaire in your family already because you, you and your kids decided to do generational wealth. It's not just about quick money. It's about generational wealth. Wealth and rich is two different things. Wealth, you have assets with money. Rich, you just have money. You can be a, a millionaire in cash, or you can be a millionaire in a set assets. There's a difference. So you choose where which one you want to be. Because a millionaire in assets, that the assets is gonna keep going up. The assets is gonna keep growing. The assets is gonna be from one million to ten million to twenty million to thirty million, forty million, fifty. The, eventually, the assets is gonna keep going up if that person keeps their money in that asset. But a rich person, you can lose that money. In, all in one day the irs could be like hey this motherfucker millionaire now oh remember when that bitch did some fraud fraud ass shit on their taxes oh yeah hit that motherfucker hit that motherfucker fifty thousand. boom there go your money then they start adding up and then here come debt collectors out of nowhere because they know you got money and your bank not gonna stop them your bank is not gonna stop them boom you get a hit for your shit boom 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 and all you have to do was build generational wealth all you have to do is invest in some assets, invest in stocks, invest in a brokerage account, invest in things that's going to build generational wealth. Money don't build generational wealth. Money goes down the drain. If y'all been paying attention to the news, the currency is slowly changing into technology currency. We slowly turn it into crypto. We slowly turn it into ETS, NTS, and stocks and shit. Eventually, at some point in life, maybe our my kids, 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 kids gonna be using crypto more than how we use cash right now who knows but that's why you need to have generational wealth because a real estate is in a market right okay so if our currency turned into crypto boom you got a real estate it's already on the market it don't gotta be money that's crypto that is crypto boom you can pass that down to your kids boom rich as fuck it's that easy but I know, like, when you think about it, if you spend too much time thinking about it, it all sounds stressful. Then you think about, oh, well, you got to have money to make money. Hell yeah. You could put $10 into a stock account. Some So many people didn't put $10, $5 in a stock account and flip that shit into $200,000 in two, three years. It takes time, but you fall in love with the process. Be okay with taking time to become successful. If you rush success, if you rush being an extraordinary person, if you rush things, it's not going to go the way you want. It's not. 
But when you take your time with it, you cultivate it, you nurture it, you water it, you plant the seeds, you you grow it. It's it, when you when you grow flowers, like you can't rush flowers growing. But when they finally bloom, they are so beautiful, they are so big, they are so colorful, like it brings you a sense of a sense of peace. I'm just saying, like, I'm just putting out some free game, y'all. Take y'all's time. But remember, YOLO at the same time. Take your time what you do, but live your life, okay? If you if you want to travel and you're young and maybe your job, you get a good, good amount of paychecks, but your family tell you, now you just need to keep working and saving, listen to your family. But at the same time, it is okay for you to go travel, bro. It is okay. Go to that state that you want to go see. You are young. You are young. If you don't have kids, that's another good thing. Because you staying, working, living like an adult, nine to five, slaving like you a slave, you're going to end up fucking, you're going to get bored. You're probably going to end up having a kid more than likely, not wishing on nobody. But hell, not on that team, you're going to end up having a kid. That shit, you're like, damn, I should have just fucking went to New Mexico. Now I'm stuck with a fucking baby. I can't even go. Like, I'm telling y'all, just travel, bro. Just, just do it. It don't take that much money to travel. All you need is a car a car and if you don't got a car get a plane ticket you can get fucking hundred dollar plane tickets that's a round way trip and then make it 200 220 dollars and i'm telling you, i'm not gonna take y'all's time up, but free game for real just live your life fall in love with becoming successful and let successfulness take time don't rush it i'm telling you i know that i can't change everybody's mindset i know that i can't change how everybody views life i can't change how people are but for the ones who do want to change the ones who genuinely are good-hearted the ones who understand that life is the way that life is and you can't change it i'm telling you bro the easiest way is just to love yourself and be peaceful be a kind-hearted person it's already so much bad we already got white people killing us off we don't need our own kind still killing us off we already got white people that took our culture from us and I'm black and Native American. So mind you, my co- both of my cultures have been stripped down to the bone. Like, it's not as authentic as it once was before. And no offense to white people. I don't got nothing to get. I got something against y'all's ancestors. That's where my beef is at. But if you act like them, then yeah, I do have a problem with you. But for real, like, if you, I'm an indigenous female. I'm a, I'm a black woman. I'm a black, I'm a indigenous woman. I, my culture has been stripped down by white people. My my people have been killed by white people from generation to generation. We still have massive genocide going on because we have cops killing off black men. We have cops killing off native men. We have the government kidnapping indigenous women in different states. You know, where I stay, it's a main populated Native American state. But in other countries, there are, in, I mean, in other states, there are still indigenous women being kidnapped. Um, I can't think of, I think it was Wyoming or, you know, it was a, one of the states up north. They still have the MIIW or MIW and it's uh, the missing, missing indigenous women. Like, there's still that going on. Okay, we still have black women being kidnapped. There's so many black women that get kidnapped that we don't hear about because it's so common to them that it's not worth the news coverage. It's so common for black men to be killed. It's not worth the news coverage. It's so common for Native American people to be kidnapped. It's not worth the news coverage. And then, boom, you find these people cut it. Once, once they get, you don't hear about them being kidnapped. The part you hear about is us being chopped up and our limbs and organs being missing why y'all think they still in our organs and limbs why y'all think they be still in our kidneys our livers everything that we have what i'm gonna let y'all think about that and i know youtube probably gonna try to take this video down because i'm i'm saying too much but i'm just telling y'all we already got enough of people against us and hell i'm not even gonna cap there's even asian people that go against us like in california when the rodney king was going on and that asian lady shot that little black girl over fucking orange juice and her pulling out the money out of her pocket we already got enough people against our own kind why are we still going against each other why are we not building together like i understand different tribes yes in africa they had tribes they was all going to war against each other and i'm not even gonna cap even still to this day i still think that's dumb i'm not saying life has to be kumbaya but we already got enough people knocking us off do y'all know that black americans and native americans make up the smallest smallest population smallest 
population of America. We are the smallest percentage. I think a Native, Native Americans was 0.4% or 1.4% and black people were only about 3.4%. We make up the smallest population. There's 7 billion people in a row, right? And I think half of that is, most of that is America probably, I don't know. But if there's a over like 100 million people in America and we're only 3.4% as a black person and then about 0.8, I think 0.8 to, to 1% of Native Americans. I can't remember the numbers all the way. Think about that. That's not that much. That's really not that much when you think about that. That's not, it's not that much. But y'all not gonna y'all not gonna take the time to think about that. Y'all probably not gonna do the math. But I'll do the math for you. If if there was five hundred people, one percent of that five hundred people, what is that like? Five? No, that's not even five. Like, what is that? Uh, five hundred one percent. Mm, that's like barely barely even a hundred. Think about that. So if there's over two hundred million people in America and black people make up the smallest percentage, how many black and Native American people do you really think there are roaming this earth? How many, for real? Because Hispanics, Hispanics make up more of this population than we do. And they be killing us too. They be killing us too. You got Hispanic cops all in Cali. They want to fit in with the white people. They be killing black people out there. There be Hispanic cops in California killing black people too. Like, I'm telling y'all, Native Americans and black people, we got it bad. We got it bad, and nobody wants to admit that. And Lil Baby spoke on it in the song, The Bigger Picture. And I'm not saying, like he said, every person is not racist. Every person is not racist. But the way that it's a mass genocide, and our people still want to go against it. Everybody want to kill each other, shoot guns and shit. Okay, cool, you can shoot a gun. When it's time to go to war against white people, do you know how to kill these motherfuckers the way they know how to kill us? When it's time to do and and learn how to build generational wealth, are you going to know how to build generational wealth when it's time to fucking escape these people? No, y'all are not because y'all so worried about being wrapped up in being the cool person, the person that know how to smoke. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with smoking. You smoke? Okay, smoke. Get your money while you smoke. Don't blow your bag on weed. Don't blow your bag on just sitting there being a smoker. Don't blow your don't blow your money on wanting to look better than people, going against people, killing people and shit. Do the right thing. It's okay to do things. It's okay to do things, but do it correctly. Do it correctly. Do it without knocking your own people down. Do it without without knocking another black person down. We already got white people knocking us down. How many times have you seen a small black business open up a business and some little white motherfucker done call FDA, CDA, uh, ODA, whatever that shit is called. And it, oh, you don't have the proper, pro, you don't follow the proper guidelines for your business to stay up. We have to shut it down because some white person and called on y'all. And if you a black person, a native person, any, a person of color, and you see another person of color opening a business and you sending people over to their shit to get them shut down, you out of fucking pocket. And you just as bad as them white people. You just as bad as them white people. SMD, I have nothing against white people, but I have something against racist white people. Okay, because there's a difference between white people and racist white people. And white people who are in power and know that if black people came up, we would be in power just like them. I have something against them type of people. And anybody else that is not white that go after them. So yes, I am preaching this morning. Because I'm trying to give y'all free game in my little YouTube video. And don't worry, because I'll post the whole 30 minutes of this shit. I don't care, because at the end of the day, somebody going to sit, watch it, and soak up the knowledge that I'm giving out. I know I know for a fact that somebody will. Somebody will listen. Somebody will observe knowledge. And this is just real shit. Like, you want to come up, stop knocking your own people down, fall in love with the process, and do the right thing. That's all I got for y'all today. I'm not vlogging no more for today. I'm going to leave it just like this. And... Y'all gonna get it. Y'all gonna get it or y'all gonna learn. Cause it's gonna happen. Watch. Believe me. Believe me. YOLO y'all. If you if you wanna if you are the person that make videos and you wanna do what I'm doing, do it. Don't give a fuck about what nobody else say. Do it. Cause if you got a lot of if you got wisdom, you share your wisdom, and then somebody else who has more wisdom gives you wisdom and it's just a cycle of wisdom being shared and it goes on and on just like generational wealth goes on and on do it stop don't be no i'm telling y'all bro i'm not saying peaceful kumbaya life but i'm saying there's a way to be at peace amongst each other 
without knocking each other down in the process. If you don't like them, be at peace with not liking them and leave them alone. Just leave them alone because you're draining yourself. you draining all your hard work. you draining all the healing you did because you're still trying to knock a motherfucker down from 40, 20 years ago when y'all met as teens. Trust me, you're going to drain yourself in the process. You're going to die and be like, damn, I wasted all my years trying to go against somebody from 20 years ago when I could have been giving that time to my kids, when I could have been giving that time to building another business for myself. I already got one business popping. Boom, it's time for another one. But you wasting all your self, time, love, all of that into going against people from 20 years ago. Baby, fuck them. If they did some fucked up shit to them, God gonna handle them. Trust me. And if you're a believer in God, you know God handle people. God handle people real well. Real well. I ain't never seen him not not take care of his children. So I'm just saying. And for you adults too, if you're in your 40s, 30s, and you subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my Instagram, any of that, you listen to me talk, you come and watch my videos, even if you don't come and watch for the right reasons, free game. Stop worrying about people from your past. Okay? Stop that. Them motherfuckers already got their karma. They probably aren't happy. They probably don't even got the lifestyle they want. You got what they want. Stop worrying about them. Half the time we be worried about people, we be hating on them. Whole time, what you got, they want, and what you want, they got. So it's just a cycle, a vicious ass cycle that continues to kill black people, that continues to knock black people down, a vicious ass cycle that's going to continue to end things, a vicious ass cycle that's not, a vicious ass cycle that's going to just continue to tear and destroy at the end of the day. I know there's certain parts of the black community that is sticking together. We had a whole black Wall Street. What then white people came and did? Burnt that shit down to the ground. A whole, it was black doctors on black Wall Street. Do y'all know that? It was thriving black businesses over there on black Wall Street. Black doctors, black nurses, black bank tellers, black bank owners, black pharmacists, black. It was black on black on black on black. That's why they came and knocked all that shit down, burnt that shit down to the ground. You know why? Because we better together, but they know we worse or apart. If we keep being apart, if we keep being separate, we keep going to war with each other. Shit, yeah. Yeah. They know that they got more power. And Lil Baby even said in this song, they know that we're a problem if we stick together. They know that shit. They know we're a problem if we stick together. That's why they burnt Black Wall Street down. But I'm going to stop talking for real because I'm telling you, I get on this subject I will I will open a blind person's eyes. And that's that's not literal. So don't let that go over your head. I will open a blind person's eyes. If I was given a platform to sit here and if I had a podcast or some shit and I just sat there and talked, a lot of motherfuckers that was blind to what's going on, a lot of motherfuckers that's so worried about going against black other black people, I will open their eyes and help them realize that's not your enemy. Your own kind, your own skin color, it's not your enemy. It's the motherfuckers in the higher up positions, them white tone motherfuckers, them paleo tone motherfuckers, them Anglo Saxon motherfuckers that keep knocking us off, keep killing us. And they didn't kill Nancy, they didn't kill Dr. CB, they didn't kill Aaliyah, I mean, they didn't kill Left Eye, they didn't kill Michael Jackson, they didn't kill so many people that was woke. So many, and much more of our people that were famous and woke and in position to, to tell the stories and tell, tell the truth and stuff, they knocked all of them off. If that's not opening your eyes, I don't know what it is. Because I'm telling y'all, don't think that the white people don't know what... Then I'm telling y'all, they they don't want us together. It don't matter. Y'all ever heard that when four people worship together, it's better than one person worshiping? Because when four people worship together, it creates a stronger atmosphere. It creates a stronger a stronger vibe, a stronger feeling, a stronger attraction. God can feel that 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 attraction more than one person worshiping. So imagine if ten thousand black people had a whole community. Ten thousand black people had a a a whole event that they did, and it was pe not peaceful, but I don't know, cause I'm a person of peace, so I always say peaceful. But I'm just saying, imagine if it was people sticking together. It would just be like when four people, five, 20, when you go to church, you can feel the Holy Spirit in there because you feel all the people in there worshiping together. But when you don't, when you worship by yourself, you can feel God's presence, but it's not as heavy as when you're in church around a hundred other people worshiping and giving your time to God. Now, if you can do that in church, what makes you think God don't let people do that together when they making businesses, 
that's why Black Wall Street was thriving the way it did, okay? And my God, I don't believe in the same God as the God that they teach us, okay? The God I believe in is the God that created me. And I'm telling y'all, what makes you think that he would not, he wouldn't create that same atmosphere for communities yet to tie together? Come on. Come on. I'm just saying. But I'm, I'm going to stop talking for real. That's just some free game for y'all. That's the vlog for this week, actually. I'm going to leave it like this. That's the vlog for y'all. So y'all do as y'all please. Y'all don't got to listen to me. Y'all can laugh at me. Y'all can call me crazy. Y'all can talk bad about me once you finish this video. But the person that listened, the person that soaked up game, the people that did, maybe if it was 10 people that heard me and opened their eyes to what I'm talking about, I fucks with you. I pray over you. I pray that your journey, your journey opens your eyes your journey becomes i wouldn't say easy but your journey becomes more defeatable i pray that you learn from your lessons so you can continue to get further on your journey continue to defeat the battles that come with the lessons that you learned so i'm praying over the people who listen i'm praying over the people who soak up game because me hey that's all i got is wisdom under my belt i've been doing this all my 10 years i did so much research did somebody ever sat I'm telling my friend from cosmetology school, Shorty, Shorty, I did not know her from a can of paint. We clicked like this. I just, I don't talk, I don't, I don't know, we don't talk anymore. And I don't go out of my way to reach out to people because I understand life goes on. Like, we adults, not everybody is there for your life, to be in your life forever. Sometimes some people come teach us how to be more loving, more gentle, more caring. Sometimes some people come and teach us how to be a little bit more closed, not closed out, but a little bit more aware. So, you know, I'm thankful that I met her because me and her sat down, had a, we had good talks. We had talks just like this. She gave me knowledge. I gave her knowledge. I learned stuff that happened in the Hispanic community as well. She learned stuff, a lot more stuff that happened in the black community, more deeper than what she probably saw on social media. So at the end of the day, I'm telling y'all, just learn from other people. Listen. So to the 10, 20 people that's going to watch my video, to the one person that's probably going to watch my video, thank you. Okay? You stick it out all the way to here. Thank you. Take my game. Don't take it. Do whatever you please. But one thing I'm not going to do is lead y'all astray. Real no real. Real niggas spot real niggas. Real recognize real. Whatever they be saying. YOLO y'all. Y'all have a good day. I'm going to go eat my snack and start my lunch. So y'all stay blessed. Drink y'all water and do what y'all got to do. Because I'm going to do me. If you're in your fitness, if you're in your fitness journey right now, stick that shit out anybody if you build a muscle or losing weight do that thing okay don't do it because you want to be better than somebody else but do it because you want to be able to be a muscle mommy or a muscle boy okay do it because you want to love yourself not because you want to be better than somebody else do it because of self-love that's how you get your results in the gym bye y'all